Glofitumab is a CD20, CD3 bispecific antibody that's recently been approved in both Canada and the United States for patients with relapsed and refractory large B cell lymphoma after two prior treatment. There are two prior treatments, and in that context, it induces a complete remission of 40% with very durable complete remissions. We were interested as investigators in whether this could be coupled with chemotherapy in the front line in a particular at-risk population. We were interested in trying to address the area of need of high burden lymphoma in young patients where intensified chemotherapy is sometimes used in an attempt to improve upon the outcomes of CHOP chemotherapy, even though randomised trials do not support that approach, that intensified chemotherapy is still widely used. So what we did is we developed, a invest, we developed this investigator-initiated study using glofitumab uh, from cycle two onwards. We had RCHOP chemotherapy as a backbone in one arm and RCHP polituzumab uh, as a backbone in the other arm. We recognise that in these high-risk patients, uh, they're often not recruited to clinical trials because they don't have time to go through screening. So to get around that, we allowed patients to have one cycle of RCHOP first before go going into the clinical trial. And we feel that this reduces the risk of uh, recruitment bias. We wanted to recruit the highest risk patients. Uh, but patients could also be recruited before cycle one as well. Patients received six, uh, they received five cycles of the combination from cycle two through to cycle six, and then two cycles of consolidation glofitumab. And we're presenting very early data from this clinical trial, so it's immature with respect to progression-free survival. We have an analysis on uh, 46 patients, roughly half treated with the CHOP arm and, and a, a few fewer treated with the polituzumab arm. And uh, what we saw, saw was complete remission rates in the, in the mid 70% uh, for, the, for a patient population, which was demonstrably high risk. Because we allowed patients with IPI3 or NCCN IPI4 and above disease, but only up to the age of 65, this meant that we recruited patients who generally did not get a point for age. And that means that the points that allowed them to get their IPI of three or their NCCN IPI of four were largely linked to tumour burden. So in our, pre in our poster presentation, we've shown uh, data around the burden of uh, tumour that these patients have when they go onto the clinical trial, really very high burden disease. Uh, we found that the combination was well tolerated so far. There have been really good retention of dose intensity of the chemotherapy backbone, which is crucial for future development of combinations. We know that combinations with CHOP chemotherapy and novel agents often fall over due to additive toxicity and loss of intensity of the chemotherapy regimen. And we've demonstrated that we can maintain treatment intensity. Uh, glofitumab is reliably delivered. Uh, that we had delays of glofitumab related to COVID-19, but in other respects, we've been able to deliver it quite well with a uh, manageable toxicity profile and a relatively low cytokine release syndrome rate and no neurotoxicity. So, so far, we're very happy with this combination. We're going to recruit to 80 patients and hope to present that data in upcoming conferences. Uh, this is a very early data cut that tells us that the combination is safe and that um, this treatment intensity can be maintained. We look forward to, to, to being able to present more information about these trials.